actually started learning cooking at seven years old when I was in primary one. Uh, we come from a very poor family. My mother has uh, got to work day and night. My father passed away when I was five. And um, she said, oh, before you go to school, okay, I'll give you one dollar. Go to the market. So what I do is I buy long beans, I buy tauge, tauwa, and uh, eggs. You know? So uh, actually manage it. I manage the meals quite well. Uh, except that uh, she didn't teach me properly how to use a ladle. There's no demo at all, you know. And a poor seven-year-old cannot absorb so much. So um, she actually demonstrated uh, cooking with uh, frying vegetable with a pot and no ladle, you know. She just flip the pot. So I follow and we take flip the pot. And I didn't grip the pot properly, the whole pot of vegetable fell into the ground. And as a result, I, I had no lunch for that day. And I didn't know what to do, whether to pick up the vegetable, wash it and cook it again. Just don't know what to do, so threw it away. My family background wasn't that good, so all we ate are vegetables. Uh, the only nutrition we get is from the eggs. And once in a while, chicken which is only during Chinese New Year. You know, of course, she demonstrated this dish, which we find that we like it so much. You know, even my husband, my children also like it. Chinese New Year, we prepare it, in spite of being just a simple long bean. And, and everybody looked forward to eating that dish. At least I can tell my grandchildren, I started cooking at seven, you know. And what are you doing at seven? <laughs> well, life, every, every generation is different. Today I am making a very simple dish which my grandma loves to eat and my mom used to cook for her I'm cooking minced meat with salted egg yolk and century egg It's a very simple dish I hope this dish comes my grandma likes it so much and during my school days after school, when I see this dish, eventually I, I love it so much that occasionally I cook it now. But the boys doesn't like it. <laughs> but only I will, only I myself eat. <laughs> so I don't cook so much of this, I only cook a small portion of this. Because nobody eats except me. <laughs> Maybe this is too old traditional dish. <laughs> they prefer those more westernized dishes than this. <laughs> Maybe I'm born in a family of this cook that I'm quite good in cooking. I should say like, not that good, but I love cooking. I love cooking. Because yeah, for me, yeah, Cantonese, uh, Singaporean or Malaysian or what, no matter how, you must know how to cook some traditional food. No? Like mom, my mom used to cook, my grandma used to cook. It's very important. We had all those chicken. So each time the chicken will hatch those eggs, mom will collect the eggs and then she used the, the eggs to steam these very fresh eggs we have. Tampong chicken. <laughs> I like tampong chicken eggs. Family that eats together, stay together. <laughs> yes, that's very important. Uh, 
mother, I learned to cook when I'm very young, after my mother passed away. That is uh, 11 or 12 years old. This dish is introduced to me by my aunt. When my mother passed away, she, she come out and help us. This is water bamboo with prawn and sotong. She used to cook for all of us. We have about 10 person. Includes the workers from my father's shop. My father's shop is doing electrical wiring. I think I was about five years old. We were in KB. They were playing with our grandparents. It was in the evening. My grandmother cooked a pot of rice for all of us to eat. And the Japanese soldier came into our house. Then he looked at me and he said, I look very cute. So my grandmother very worried, afraid that he would carry me away. So my grandmother asked him, do you want this pot of rice? Then he was very happy. He took the pot of rice away and then he left me alone. So my grandmother was happy. With the pot of rice, she changed back her granddaughter. I think so. To this day, I still think about that. Definitely, I prefer to cook on a daily basis. You can have a good home cooked food. My dad was a very good cook. And it's very surprising that you know in a in a family, normally the, the ladies are the one who cook well. But in our family, my dad is the one who cook very well. Whereas my mom is the one who assisting, you know, cutting the vegetables and all that, preparing the ingredients for my dad. And my dad will do most of the cooking. And sometimes when my dad is cooking, he will say, shoo, shoo, you go away, don't come and disturb me. See, like my grandmother passed down this recipe for me, which I love. And I learned it from my dad. She passed it to my dad when she was staying with us. And then my dad used to cook this dish and I love this dish. And my dad taught me how to cook. In fact, my dad taught me quite a lot of dishes. Of course now, when I cook this dish, but we sometimes we also crave for this dish and once in a while we say, Mommy, you haven't cooked this chicken dish for a while, no? Why don't you cook this for a weekend? And that was what my dad did after we got married. And then when we are going home for dinner, and then she will take the trouble to go to the market and buy the ingredients and then he will prepare this dish for us. So home cooked food, no matter how it's still. If I have the time, I would love to, but unfortunately, I don't. I'm working full time, so it's like quite a mad rush coming home and all tired. And then I feel like lying down first instead of cooking. 